listening to the baby's heart during labor. Listening to the baby's heartbeat helps you know how the baby is coping with the stress of labor. Recognizing early that the heart rate is too high or too low is critical to saving baby's lives. This video will show how to assess the heart rate, how to decide whether it's normal, and what to do if it's not normal. How to assess the heart rate. First, find the best place to listen to the baby's heartbeat. It's usually easiest to hear the heart where the baby's back is. This will feel like a long, smooth, continuous shape in the woman's abdomen. In early labor, the baby's heart will be best heard below the woman's umbilicus. If the baby is breech, try finding the heart sounds a little above the woman's umbilicus. If the baby is facing the woman's front, the heartbeat is harder to find because the baby's arms and legs get in the way. Listen near either side of the woman's belly. Or directly in the middle. As labor progresses, the location of the baby's heart gradually gets lower in the abdomen. You can listen with a fetoscope, a stethoscope, or a doubler. To use a fetoscope, press it firmly over the spot you think the baby's heart should be. Put your ear to the listening part. Then press your head down on the fetoscope firmly and take your hands away. This is important. Keeping your hands on the fetoscope won't let the sound come clearly. You may need to listen in several places before you find where the heartbeat is most loud and clear. Take your time. Sometimes it takes a few seconds before you can hear it. With a stethoscope, press the end firmly over the spot. To use a Doppler, Put gel on the end of the probe. Turn the Doppler on. Then place the probe over the spot you think the baby's heart should be. Slowly point it in different directions. You may need to listen in several places to find where the heartbeat is most loud and clear. The Doppler makes it easy to listen to the baby's heartbeat when the woman is in any position or any stage of labor. How to decide whether the heart rate is normal. The baby's heartbeat is about twice as fast as an adult's heartbeat. If the heartbeat seems very slow, Feel the woman's pulse in her wrist while you listen. If the woman's pulse and the heartbeat you hear are the same, you are hearing the woman's heartbeat by mistake. Try another area of her abdomen. Count the heartbeats using a clock or watch with a second hand. First, get a baseline heart rate by counting the number of heartbeats for one full minute. Do this between contractions. To be sure you are listening to the baby's heart, compare the woman's pulse rate at the same time. A normal heart rate for a baby is between 120 to 160 beats per minute. It may slow during a contraction but usually recovers to normal as soon as the uterus relaxes. 
when you need to check the baby's heart rate quickly. Count the heartbeat for six seconds. Then add a zero to get the rate per minute. Repeat if your count does not seem right. If you don't have a watch, compare the baby's heartbeat to the woman's pulse. It should be about twice as fast as her pulse. A quiet heartbeat does not mean the baby is weak. Instead, the baby's chest or back may be far from your ear. Or you are listening through a layer of fat. Every time you listen to the baby's heart, decide whether the rate is normal or not. A baby whose heart rate is slower than 120 or faster than 160 for more than 10 minutes may be in trouble. What to do if the heart rate is not normal? If the heart rate is faster than normal, check whether the woman has a fever, a uterine infection, or is taking medicine that could raise her heart rate, such as salbutamol. If the heart rate is too low, check for a prolapsed cord. If the heart rate is too fast or too slow, have the woman lie on her left side, give her fluids, and discontinue oxytocin if it's being used. These measures may make the heart rate return to normal. If the heart rate remains abnormal for 10 minutes or longer, or the baby's heartbeat drops below 100 during a contraction and remains low for one minute after the contraction, you should make a plan to help the baby. Ask the woman to take deep breaths in between contractions and if possible, give her oxygen. Talk with her about your findings and address her concerns. If she is not close to giving birth, transfer her right away to a higher level facility where she can have a cesarean operation. If the woman is close to giving birth, get the baby out as soon as possible. Ask her to try an upright position to help the baby come down. Have her push with contractions. And once the head is low enough, Assist the birth with a vacuum. Or do an emergency episiotomy if necessary. Be prepared to help the baby breathe. Remember, the baby's heart rate can help you decide how the baby is coping with labor. Counting the heart rate accurately is an important skill to practice. Have a plan at your facility for what to do if a baby develops distress during labor. <laughs>